hey guys welcome to my channel AI simplified in today's video we will be learning how to connect our outlook to logic apps then how to save outlook attachments to azure storage accounts so even the pipeline that we are following is outlook to connection to logic apps then to storage accounts but with logic apps you can do way more than this so before any delay let's start so you can see i am on my azure portal page from here i can access all the services but right now i am going to click on logic apps or you can search logic apps here if it's not shown then you go to the logic apps i don't have a logic app right now you can click learn more which i will recommend always to do so that you can go to the pricing and check the pricing before doing this because by mistake you can have a really big from azure on your credit card so let's see for logic apps and it says that for per call it's very less and then for the memory and everything you have to pay for per hour and yeah so let's go back to the logic apps now i will say add and this should create a logic app so we have to first select that i want azure subscription then as a tutorial resources group are more like a way to organize all the resources that you are using on the Microsoft environment to together it can be depending on your uh, on your preferences how you want to re group these resources it can be based on a customer or a department or anything else so for the logic up name will be outlook tutorial and let's say maybe three then i am making a workflow not a docker container and i want to publish it in north europe then i want to do it a consumption based then we next is the tax i don't want to give a tax but you can give tax uh, this makes for you easier to find these apps or like these resources then we have this and it's ready you click on the create item and if you saw on the top there was some validation going on before i could click the create app button and now it's ready i have to go to the resource and it takes some time to load but yeah it's ready and now you can see that i will start with a blank logic app but you can see there are already some common triggers available like when new tute is posted when http request is received you can do a lot of things but i just want to have it like a blank logic app and here you can select for all the yeah for all the connectors here you can see there is office 365 outlook it works only with a school or work account so i am gonna select this outlook.com and here it says when a new email arrives yeah so what i want to do is i want to have whenever something comes to my inbox folder with any importance only with attachments then i want to include those attachments here here you can also do a change connection so you can see that i can do add new connection and it will ask me to log in and once i'm logged in then it will appear here and i already have a connection that i created the next step will be to create like a control or you can just go to a create blob block so what it does is like if this operation uploads a block to azure blob storage and here we go i also have this connection already created but if you can go you can go to a change connection you can do add new here you have to just select this access key 
and then you have to add your account name and this this information you can find from your storage accounts here so if you go to your storage accounts this is storage account then you go to here to the access keys in the access key you can find the storage account name a key you just have to copy paste it here give a name and then it should be fine now once you are connected you have to select that storage account name here everything is like more autofill then i want to put it to the test uh, folder so if you go to my storage account in the containers you can see there is this test container i want to put it here in the, to the test one and for the name i will just take the attachment name and the content will be just the current item whatever is there and that's all the azure app is ready we will just save it and then just do a run trigger run and go back to the app so if you can see from here if you go down then you can see logic app designer that we have the logic app ready with a when an email comes and for all the attachments in the email we created it to the azure blob storage so you can see there is no file here now i'm going to the my mail and i will create a new mail write it to the email id that i provided for the connection and i have let's say some test and then I just have to add an attachment from this computer I will be just sending image and then I will just click on the send button so the mail I have already sent the mail and I have already received you can see it's available here with the image then I go to this logic app click on the overview and then I can see it says no run So this one I did was with run trigger, but you can also specify the number of time that it runs like it checks in how much time. So let's fix that first, but to show you, I think the image should be here. You can see the image here, but if I go here and then All right so nothing to do here except the run trigger and then we will go back to this app let's try once more again so again new email to myself from test 2 and then a new image Sent. Then we will just wait for some time. I already received the email, but yeah, let's wait for some more time because there is some time it requires. Like you know, the uh, for refreshing with the Outlook, it checks after you know two minutes, three minutes, and then we have to wait for that time to see now you can see it succeeded this time i didn't run the trigger it automatically does that and if i go back here and just refresh then i have the other image as well that i wanted to send i thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, see you in the next video bye